good. The seats there, Jeremy? Well, one can't fight slander. It's a losing battle. Let us instead ignore their tittle-tattle. Let's strive to live by conscience clear to reason. Let the gossips gossip as they please. I tell you, you are blessed to have to our Jew dwelling and my son's guest beneath this roof. That heaven is set in before a star is wrapped by leading you once more to the true path. That all be reprehend is reprehensible and they must heed him and be sensible. These biggest balls and parties which revel on nothing but inventions of the devil. One there is a word that they find in chance and foolishness and lying and vicious gossip in which one's name was cut to bits with a pay for the sin. Men of sense are driven to hat and safe when the vents were noisy.
set the date, I understand. Quite so. You postponed it now, is that true? No doubt. The match no longer pleased you? Oh no. Do you mean to go back on your word? Which I won't say that. Has anything occurred which might entitle you to break your pledge? Correct. Why must you have and hard and head? The boy asked me to serve you in this affair. It's been a pleasure. But what shall I tell the lad? Whatever you like. But what have you decided? What are your plans? Well, I plan, sir, to be guided by heaven's will. Come on, brother, don't talk rot. You've given the lad your word. Will you keep it or not? Good day. This looks like a poor man or some doing. I'll go and warn him that there's trouble. 